Prince Charles County health officials are warning families about a potentially deadly mosquito borne disease. They say they've seen an increase in the activity of West Nile virus and Eastern equine encephalitis or Triple E. Triple E has already killed at least seven people in the Northeast. Action News Jack's Russell Colburn has been talking with neighbors and he joins us live. Russell, the Department of Health issued that warning just a few hours ago. And thankfully, they haven't reported any cases involving people, but it's clearly something health officials want local families to take heed of. Tonight, the Florida Department of Health in St. John's County wants you aware of two mosquito-borne diseases, West Nile virus, which the CDC says is the most common, and Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E, a brain infection health officials say kills nearly one-third of those infected. They say many survivors have ongoing neurological problems. It's already killed at least seven people in Massachusetts and Connecticut, and more than two dozen people have been infected in six states. It's kind of scary. I didn't even know that this was an issue in this area. But St. John's County health officials have their eye on West Nile and Triple E. They say during routine checks, the diseases were found in their sentinel chicken population. They say while there are no human cases at this time, the potential risk for people to get these diseases has increased. When I go outside, um, we have a fire pit outside, so that's something I need to obviously be aware of. Right now, the Department of Health and Anastasia Mosquito Control are keeping a close eye on this, and they urge people to take precautions like covering skin and wearing repellent, draining all standing water, and covering all windows and screens. It's better to be safe than sorry. And health officials say to use repellent like this one I have because it contains less than 30% of the chemical DEET. This is something, of course, we will keep you updated on. Live in St. Augustine, Russell Colburn, Fox 30 Action News, Jax.